Hey guys! So I finally am getting around to doing that hair tutorial that everybody keeps asking about um, from my um, Project 10 PM video. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of tedious if it's going to be your first time doing it. Um, the first time that I did it, I don't know what I was like, what was going through my head, but I was like, I want like really curly, curly hair, and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go to Sally's and see what I can find to make my hair really curly. I have a natural wave to my hair, but I didn't want like the scrunch, like hard, hard look. So I walked into Sally's and I go into the hair, um, like where the straighteners and curling irons are and stuff. And I'm like, alright, I'm going to find the smallest curling iron that I can find, which is a half inch curling iron, just in case you want to go buy one. And the one that I got was the Helen of Troy one. It's just like the professional ones that you see in hair salons, the Hot Tools ones. You want to try to get one that's got that's gold plated because gold plated um, hairstyling tools work a lot better. They hold your curl longer and they get a lot hotter than like a silver one would. So I got the Helen of Troy one. I think it was like 20 bucks or maybe like 25 bucks. But I really wanted like a wand curling iron, you know, the ones that don't have the clamp on them, it's just the stick so that you can like wrap your hair around. But like the only ones that I've seen that are like 80 bucks and I'm like, I don't want to spend 80 bucks on it if I don't know if I'm going to like my hair. So what I did is I bought the half inch curling iron, you know, with the clamp and I just came home and I was like, all right, I'm just going to see if what I can do with it. So I went to go curl it and if you don't know how to curl, you will sometimes get like that clamp mark stuck in your hair, which I despise. So that's why I really wanted a wand. But Sally's doesn't sell wands. So what I did is I bought the I bought this one. The Helen of Troy Gold Series. This is a half inch curling iron. And it is a wand now. There's no clamp or anything because I took it off. This, this is what I mean by the clamp. Like this thing. I took it off and made my own wand. And it's what I did with my other curling irons as well. Because it's a lot easier to curl your hair with just a wand. You might want to wear a glove or something if you've never used a wand because you probably, most likely, will burn your fingers. <laughs> so what I did is I just, there's like a little screw like right in the, this back part under here. I don't want to touch it because it's on and it's hot. Um, and then if you kind of just wiggle it, this middle part that goes underneath will just slide off. And you'll get all these little screws. You get like four screws, this little gold thing, and then the clamp. So. <clears throat> Let's just get started, shall we? What you want to do is start with straight hair that's probably been washed the day before because super clean hair doesn't really hold. Um, it'll hold, but not as well. And let me take my earrings off for this because I don't want to get them caught. So what you want to do is just section your hair. This is how I do it. Grab a clippy and clip it up. So what you want to do is you want to start from the back first. You can curl the pieces as big or as small as you want. But remember, you're curling with a half inch curling iron. So you want to kind of coincide the hair size with your curling iron size. If it was a big curling iron, take big chunks. If it's smaller, you take small ones. So what I'm going to do is probably take sizes of hair about this big in the back. And then with your curling iron or wand and if you don't want to take the clamps off of your curling iron just wrap it without opening it and then you want to take it and just wrap it around the wand like I said be careful for your fingers and just hold it there for about eight ten seconds sometimes when I'm in a rush <clears throat> I can get this hair done in less than an hour but I don't hold them as long and then you get like this curl in the back and sometimes I like it really tight and sometimes I don't. So you just want to keep it curling like that. And you're going to repeat this over your entire head. This side of my head is really easy for me to curl. The left side of my head is really easy for me to curl. The right side, it takes a little much. That's usually when I start to burn my fingers is on the right side of my head. See, see that one? I didn't hold that one nearly as long. You're still going to get a curl, but it's just not going to be as tight. And again, it's your preference on how tight you want your curls. And if you want looser curls, you can space them out on the barrel longer. Not as close to each other. Like, you can do it like this. Like where there's space in between. And I always tend to just turn my wand upside down so when I let go they kind of just fall off. 
And then that's what it looks like. It looks like a scraggly little mess right now. So I'm going to finish curling all my hair until I get to the top. And then I will come back on. And um, this look, the look that you guys saw me with is my extensions are curled too. So I'll do a quick how to curl your extensions. Because with this look, this is how long my hair is. When I'm done with this look, my hair is going to look like it's like sitting up here on my shoulders. If you want really short curly hair, that's cool. But I'll show you how to do it with the hair extensions. So I'm going to finish curling and then I'll be back. Okay. And what you want to remember too is when you're doing your hair is to hold really tightly onto the wand. You don't want to like have, you want to hold this really, really tight when you're doing your hair. Because the tighter you hold it, the easier it's going to be to wrap, to wrap your hair around. And that'll happen, like that just happened to me, like you try to wrap really quick and you end up letting it go. So remember, hold this wand really tightly when you're doing your hair. And if you have bangs, what you want to do is kind of work with your bang, but you want them to be pushed back, kind of. It took me a while before I realized. This front part, you want to curl it back. So it curls like into your head. And then just make sure. See it's kind of uniformed right now. We're kind of going to mess it up a little bit. But that will give you a more like appearance of it like being poofier on top. And then we'll just curl these couple pieces really quick. This is what your hair will look like super super short except for pieces at the bottom will tend to fall out a lot quicker so you can just like I said go through yank those pieces out and then just recurl them if you want if you're going to leave your hair this way with no extensions this is what it's gonna look like just a little little jerry curl situation going on and I mean you can leave it like this um, I do really cute updos when your hair is like this it's very like romantic and I'll show you how to do that in another video but for the hair extensions let me grab them and this is how I curl them I will show you it's really easy I'm sitting at my dresser I'm gonna move the camera down in a second to show you but what I do here I'll grab the camera now it's gonna be tuck them in and push it closed make sure it's got them all and then you have your hair just hanging here so both of your hands are free and you're gonna take like this much or maybe half of this we'll do half of it and you're going to curl this the same way we've been curling the other pieces and I don't think I can show you this on camera because I don't have anyone to hold this here so I'm going to curl all these extensions and then I will come back and show you what it looks like okay okay and just so you can see this is what they will look like when they are curled just like the rest of your hair and they're very bouncy and whatnot so yeah just want to show you okay so I have all of my extensions curled and now I'm just going to throw them in and there's our hair um, it probably took me about 45 minutes if I wasn't filming or talking and curling, I could have got done in about 35. Um, the first time I did it, it did take me a minute to do it because I just didn't know which way to curl and all that. But it's a nice like hairstyle to do if you just want something different. I get com anytime I wear this hair, people are like, "Oh my god, how did you do your hair?" And when I tell them it was the curling iron, they're like, "Oh my god, it would take forever." Yeah, your first time it probably will take you um, a little bit of time, but. After that, you get the motion of holding it super tight and just twisting, you'll get done in no time. So, I hope this helped and I hope you guys will try this hair. And remember, don't go out and spend like $90 on a wand when you can just take the clamp off and have a perfectly great wand yourself. So yeah, I hope this tutorial helped and now I'm going to go film one on to show you how, how to do a really cute updo with this hair. So, um, yeah. Remember to subscribe and comment and like or not like. So thanks again guys for watching. I'll see you in a second. Bye.